Hey guys, it's Emily Henderson, and today I'm gonna to show you a kitchen where a lot of the more traditional design rules have been broken, but it still looks awesome. The number one rule in kitchen design is all about the kitchen triangle. It's very famous. Um, so what that means is that the cooktop, the sink, and the fridge are all shaped in a triangle for easy access to cook. So this family actually put the fridge and the dishwasher in a separate room in the butler's pantry. Here's the fridge. Proof. Dishwasher. The reason they did that and the reason that it's actually really smart is that it freed up a lot of usable space in the kitchen. This kitchen actually isn't that big and they wanted to have a whole wall of beautiful windows to let in natural light. So by putting the fridge and the dishwasher in there, they now have more space in here to cook at the same time that all of the mess is contained in a room off of the kitchen. So you don't even see it. So it's kind of an unspoken rule that kitchens should be light and bright and airy, but this kitchen is really dark with mostly just black and dark wood. So it's really moody, but here's why it works. The ceiling is really high, so it definitely has a sense of like space and expansiveness. There are no uppers, so this wall does not feel very heavy. Um, instead, there's just like a really thin shelf. And then there is natural light on one, two, three sides of the room. So this space feels really big and feels airy in a lot of ways. It's just kind of dark and moody. All right, so another rule that they're breaking is that there's actually no dining table in this house. <laughs> Instead, there is this huge island that they had custom made. So they have um, seats around it. So this is where they eat dinner, which is fine for a family of four. But not only that, is that they chose to not put any storage underneath here. So it's just beautiful furniture legs and Here's another rule broken, um, it's exposed pipes. So there's a prep sink here, and instead of covering that up, they actually just let, you know, let it out to be seen, which I think actually looks pretty cool. And by having furniture legs instead of a huge block island, it makes the kitchen feel so much bigger. This kitchen was designed by the William Hunter Collective, and um, it's a really good proof that, sure, you need to know the, the rules because you don't wanna feel like you're making a mistake. But by breaking some of them and knowing that it's a choice, you can actually get a kitchen that's far more interesting and beautiful. So head to the blog if you wanna see more photos of this kitchen and get all the resources, and don't forget to like and subscribe below. Bye, guys.